All right, time for some relationship talk. Olabi Sifolari is a professional counselor with over two decades of experience. She's also a certified relationship and marriage counselor and the founder of the head of faculty at Three Fold Court Marriage Academy, a marriage institute. And today, she'll be continuing last week's discussion on the circle of abuse in relationship. Hello, Ms. Olabisi. Hello, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Ms. Olabisi. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm very well, thank you very much. Okay, so. Last week, we talked about the circle of abuse in relationship, how to recognize it, how do you identify it, what are the signs? Can you quickly run through that for us, quickly? Okay, yeah, I said there, there's a tension building stage. Yes. Okay, where the abuser just starts to fly off the handle over little or necessary things. Okay. They get um, verbal. That does unnecessarily touch you and, you know, begin to make the other person feel insecure about themselves. Okay. And at, at this stage, it really look like there's anything much wrong with it, especially for somebody who um, grew up in an environment where abuse has been normalized. But okay. then it goes to the next stage, which is the explosion stage. And that's explosion where the real abuse stage. starts. Yes. Okay. So from the tension building, it gets to the explosion stage where the abuser can't really contain their pretense anymore. Okay. So that's where the physical abuse starts. You know, they begin to forcefully have sex with their partners, mm. either married or unmarried. You know, um, they begin to wield for if, if the woman is not financially empowered and the man is the abuser, he withdraws funds from her. So at this stage, the, 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 the woman is, uh, you know, is scared. She's still trying to negotiate, okay, I'm sorry, or could that be the problem? Until it degenerates to the last stage, which is the... Um, Honeymoon phase. It's called the honeymoon phase. Okay, now, that so phase, you because okay. the uh, go ahead because please. the abuser, the abuse, the abuse person is trying to you know understand and negotiate. They begin to want to maybe threaten to leave, and then at that point, the abuser begins to try and behave. They try to put up a show of change. If the abuse person says no, we must go for counseling. They somewhat want to agree. Sometimes they go, sometimes they don't. They apologize, they get gifts, they try to make up. So at that point, it looks as if there is a, it's a reconciliation or honeymoon phase. It looks as if there is relative calm. So the abused person is confused. If it's a woman that is abused, she's kind of confused. Oh, maybe this person has changed. Maybe I'm the bad person here. There's something I'm doing that's always triggering up. And people that abuse, that abuse, especially for the men, they're usually narcissists in, in, in tendencies. They want to project who they are on you. They want to make you feel you are the reason I'm always getting violent. Okay. okay? So by that stage, everything seems calm. But there is relative calm at that stage. But the truth of, first of the matter, if that person is not change interested, does not look for intervention, they will go right back. You guys will go right back to that cycle. Remember, it's a cycle. You go back to the tension building stage again, and you keep going round and round in circle okay. until one of you or both of you seeks intervention. Okay. So how do you end the circle? How do you break away from this circle? Fine. The, the, the way to break away from this circle, it, it's a different approach from, for the married and for the singles. For the singles, you really don't even have to let it get to this third stage. Okay. okay? By the time the you're getting to the third stage, which stage, is the, the, let's talk about the third the stage, honeymoon or reconciliation which is the honeymoon stage. and reconciliation yeah. stage. Great. Go yeah. ahead, please. Okay. Um, for, let's just talk about the married. But for the singles, like I said, from the outset, from the first stage, you, when you see those signals, you want to take a pause okay. and really analyze the situation and ask yourself salient questions. Okay. If you are gullible enough to go to stage two for the single, please cry out for help. And I will mention some of the places you can cry out to for help. Start with those both of you differ to and respect. Maybe mentors, people that have an authority figures over your life. Okay. But for the married, at the third stage, you can, you can go all out, especially if, it's, if your life is in danger. I know for a fact that Lagos State has the um, DSVRC yes, the uh, domestic team that's sexual a domestic violence. sexual violence response, response team. team. Yes. So if you go to allow sir, and just ask what department handles DSVRC, mm. you will be directed there. And the Lagos State government is not joking with women being abused. Yes. So you will be um, your case will be handled thoroughly. It's mm -hmm. either they give a restraining order to that man, call him to order, or he could get arrested, even if it's your husband. Okay. okay. Then there is a um, Mirabel Center. Okay. There's Mirabel Center that handles cases like this. Just Google or type Mirabel Center on any of the social media handles, either Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. 
Okay, you will now, get details, their office address are there, you can go there. Or you could talk to the police, even though most people don't like that option. There is also a unit that has been created for that recently by Lagos State Government. So either way, there is help. You need to speak out. Okay, um, quickly, let's touch on for the married couple. Do you advise yeah. that they, you know, break away completely from that marriage? Because this is a marriage situation we are talking about here. Okay, I think first things first. Once you cry for help, you need to state what your terms are. Okay. You need to negotiate the safety of your life. You could say for one, because at that stage, the person is actually begging and showing big moss. But yes. you've seen that cycle play out one, two, three times. So at this point, you want to say, you know what, the only time I'm coming back, I advise separation if your life is in danger. Mm. The first thing is to remove the abused person from that environment. Separation does not equal divorce. It just means you need space from that harmful environment so that you don't lose your life ultimately. Okay. So that's the first thing. If your life is being trended, you're being beaten black and blue every day. You need to separate for a while and then negotiate you know, with your husband and say, you know what, if you want me to come back, we have to do something about it. Are you ready to go for counseling? Are you ready to mm. go for um, therapy? You know? uh, yes. Uh, so at that, yeah, yeah, therapy. Thank you. So yeah. if, if you are not, if the guy is not, if he's not ready, it means you and you are going to go back. You, you, I mean, you're ready to lose your life as well. Mm. Because sometimes, unfortunately, what breaks this cycle is death. Mm. That's why a lot of women are losing their lives because mm. they are seeing these things and they are sitting down there. For God's sake, separation is not the same thing as divorce, even under the law. Mm. It just means space. It just means abroad, space. They give a restraining order to that man. Mm. Yeah. They give a restraining order to that man. He mustn't come any, some particular meters around where you stay. Yeah. They watch out to see if there's a change. They can even separate him from his kids. Thank you so much. So until he shows much. a reasonable amount of behavior, he's not coming back. So there's Thank a lot to do. Thank you so very much, Ms. Olabisi, for this. Um, I mean, this has been very enlightening. And I know that people watching have been able to, you know, learn one or two things. Remember, guys, like she said, if you are in an abusive relationship, seek help. The domestic sexual violence response team in Lagos State are open to you they would listen to you and they would help you get the necessary help that you need you know in getting out of that relationship thank you very much for this conversation miss olabi c and there's still so much more guys on the show the next hour is going to be exclusive guys stay with us